There's another kind of idea that came from my old, my former old English professor that, you know, if Beowulf is kind of a blending of cultures, if it is a blending of the Christian and the pagan, of the Scandinavian and the English, Gawain and the Green Knight could be as well. It could be a blend of the original British mythology with the Norman ideas, with somebody trying to either reconcile that or, again, throw up a middle finger. Uh, that's up to you. But there are, it is, a, again, kind of a cultural blend uh, that's going on here. So that is Gawain and the Green Knight. And again, he does survive, and that's exciting, and possibly goes on to found the Order of the Garter. Um, you all got a motto from me when you did your shields, so you kind of know the purpose of a motto now and how it was a big deal back then. So you should have seen yesterday, I posted the video about the test and what's going to be on the test and what to expect from that. Uh, again, open note, open book, but not open internet. You're only looking at the things that I have made for you, the things that I posted on Emoto and the actual texts themselves. Um, I really just, you're such a wonderful class, and I say this all the time, I wish I had been able to teach you in person. I really don't want to have to have a cheating conversation with anybody. Like, I just want to go for the rest of my life and, and not have one of those conversations, but especially with this class. So just don't make me do it. Don't be tempted. Um, if you have any questions at all, let me know. Um, on this post where I post this video, I will share the discussion prompts for this week in regard to Gone in the Green Knight, and I will post... Uh, the answers for the quiz. So I appreciate you. I want you to feel as prepared as you can for Thursday's exam. So if you need anything from me, just let me know. Thank you. Bye.